Welcome back to the Tobago Update Morning Show, coming to you here live from the Port Mall in Scarborough. In this segment, viewers, we are chatting with Abu Hakim Bilal Davis. I got that right. Right. And we are speaking in relation to uh, the upcoming the lecture that's currently in uh, progress. Morning, morning, and welcome to the Tobago thank Update's you, Morning thank Show. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. All right. So we're going to head straight on in. Thank you for having me. Thank you. bit about Ab Abu Hakim Bilal Davis. Because I know over the time period, we have had a number of persons representing and coming to the Tobago space. And we welcome each and every one of you yes, uh, yes, enjoying yes, the yes. Tobago space here. Tell us a little bit about your background uh, and involvement in the faith. Uh, as far as myself is concerned. About your background. Uh, and I was born in the UK of uh, Jamaican parents uh, at uh, during about the year 91 92 um, I embraced the religion of Islam prior to that I had a bit of a bad background um, I was fantastic in terms of education and then as many of the youth in England do you know we got involved in some of the some of the uh, the bad traits guns and gangs and what have you um, I was for a short period and then um, I was uh, guided as far as you know the religion is concerned towards embracing and towards practicing Islam and that took me away from all of all of those uh, those affairs I went on there there and after to study in the Islamic University of Medina in Saudi Arabia and I was there for 10 years a 10 year period so um, I benefited a lot from there I've come back and since I lecture and give the sermons and what have you in our local mosque. So tell us more specifically now about this period here in the Tobago space where you, of course, you're here um, giving back uh, once again yeah. in terms of the lectures that are taking place. What's the yeah. focus of these lectures this time around? The focus of the lect lectures in this series is a study of the life of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Um, we can't do it justice in these few days. So what we de de decided to do was to summarize the life of the prophet in a number of years or over the years uh, of his prophethood um, because of the fact likewise that my um, area of specialism when i was in the islamic university was the study of hadith which is prophetic literature so we have tried to gather as best as possible the authentic narrations about the life of the prophet from the time that he was born up until the time that he passed away and then from the time that he was made a prophet um, and the 23 years of his prophethood yeah all right so tell me something when you set out with these lectures and so on mm -hmm. is it open only to persons who belong to the faith or you are happy to welcome no. new persons who may have that interest uh -huh. most definitely no we we always i mean that to be honest with you alongside our goal of educating the muslims generally uh, another one of our goals is to educate the non-muslims and of course as is the case with any proponent of any religion the, the the hope and desire that they would be interested and guided to the path of the messenger muhammad which is nothing but a continuation of the path of the prophets and the messengers of the past so uh non-muslims are welcome very welcome to the lecture and our brothers at the mosque there in crown point you know they're very very welcoming good hosts they've hosted us fantastically so far so um, I, I, I do invite any non-Muslim who's interested to come and listen. It takes some time, uh, even one of the evenings, and just come, uh, come and take a look. So remind us the period over which it will be uh, taking place and the times uh, right. for persons who would have an interest in, in attending. So we, we, we have it nightly um, in Masjid Ibn Abbas in Crown Point. Uh, and we begin from 8 o'clock. And we usually go on till about half past uh, or quarter past nine and uh, that is the lecture along with question questions and answers um and that is nightly up until wednesday up until coming wednesday right so it's uh, taking place nightly up until wednesday yes, and i know right. we will be doing some lives happening from the tobago updates as yes, well yes. Uh, in terms of the coverage now as you mentioned the focus is who is muhammad and mm. um why is islam the fastest growing religion in the world yes. all right so i'm asking you to give me a give me a summary of summary. one of the focal points <laughs> <laughs> when you speak to the significance of uh who of who is who muhammad, muhammad. Uh, one of the one of the problems that we face as muslims is that which exists from the misconceptions about the Prophet Muhammad, who he was, where he 
existed and what he was calling to. Um, the one who looks into the life of the Prophet Muhammad will see that in essence he's the continuation of the prophets and messengers that were sent of the past and he is in the Muslim belief and for the one who studies the Bible even he is the one that has been prophesied will come uh, towards the end of time and so he was born in the Arabian Peninsula he's from the offsprings of Ishmael of Ismail the son of Abraham uh, and it was the 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 fact that he's from the offsprings of Abraham that his call resembled and is the same as the prophets and messengers that came from Abraham likewise the previous prophets and messengers uh, whether we're talking about uh, Ismail, Ishaq, Yaqub, Jacob, uh, John the Baptist, Jesus all of them and we believe that Jesus was a prophet that was a continuation of uh, the the previous prophets and messengers so he was a messenger that was sent towards the end of time, a messenger that had nothing but the call of the previous prophets and messengers that came before. And we believe that he is the one that is prophesied in the book of Isaiah. The book of Isaiah uh, 42, 11, there is the mention of a prophet that will come to the people of Kidar. The people of Kidar, in biblical scholars, will accept and believe that it is Saudi Arabia and that he will come to, to sing a new song and the verses are present, and that the people of Salat should rejoice. Salat was a mountain in the region of Medina. I used to live in Medina. I used to live literally five minutes away from, from Salat when I was there. Uh, it is a well-known mountain in Medina. And so the biblical scripture in Isaiah mentions that the people of Salat should rejoice and sing a new song for the coming of this prophet that will come. Uh, and likewise, we believe that he is the one that is the comforter that is mentioned in the Bible. Um, Though many believe that the Comforter is the Holy Spirit, but we say that the Holy Spirit could not have been the Comforter. Since Jesus mentioned that the Comforter will come, I have much to say to you, but when this Comforter comes, he will speak of me, and he shall not speak of himself, rather that which he hears from the Creator, he shall convey, which indicates it's a human being, it's a man, and someone who will come to convey a message and we believe the only one that has done that uh, is Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. All right. Mm -hmm. So viewers, you're, you're getting a taste of why it's important to go out to get the, get the information um, in terms of who is Muhammad and to be able to learn more about the faith. And this is one of the things I'm, I'm quite impressed with because over the period uh, of just about a year of being here um, mm -hmm. with Tobago Updates, we mm -hmm. see a, a regular kind of visit of persons coming in to share their knowledge That's and right. experience and so on. Right. And, and that can only certainly lend to a, a greater sense of awareness mm -hmm. in terms of a better understanding of yeah. defeat. Because I'm sure it is still yeah. no secret in 2022, and tell us yeah. very quickly about that, yeah. Yeah. Um, the stereotype that is still faced by persons of the Muslim faith. Is that still a major issue? It still exists. Uh, but as you say, it is knowledge that dispels those doubts. The more people learn about Islam, the more people learn about Muslims, and ask themselves honest questions that we have been, you know, we've had Muslim neighbors for years and they've never tried to harm us. You know, we have been shopping with the local Muslim shopkeeper and he's always been good with us. So, you know, there are uh, issues and there are doubts that need dispelling about Islam and Muslims being a religion of terrorism and a religion of any bloodthirsty terrorists that only want to take non-Muslim life. This is a fallacy and of course there exists you know foolish uh, idiotic members of any faith that walk a path of extremism and that the faith may well be tarnished by way of but anyone who is cultured um, and anyone who is educated will know that the reality of Islam and the Muslim faith is not this, uh, this, 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 this madness that we, we have seen over previous years. All right. And we just want to remind our viewers again, just remind them of when the lecture series is taking place. They got a taste of it this morning. Yeah. <laughs> but just remind them in terms of those who are to come out, the time is going to be taking mm -hmm. place, when it's going to be taking place, and where here they mm -hmm. can get further information. Right. So we begin each evening at 8 o'clock. Um, and then we have the lecture continues for about an hour and a half, hour and a half uh, maximum. That is each night in Crown Point Masjid Ibn Abbas. 
Uh, and anybody who needs more information, uh, our brothers at Skewers, Yusuf, who is well known yes. uh, to many, <laughs> to many of, of uh, the uh, Tobagonians. It's probably all of Tobago <laughs> by now. All of Tobago. <laughs> So uh, any information that you need, you can get it at, 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 at the brothers from Skewers. They'll, they'll give you information on that. But that is every night up until Wednesday. All right. Our uh, viewers at this point, we take a quick pause as we head on over to Tobago Notes. Place Welcome to back to the Tobago Updates morning show as we continue the conversation with Hakeem Bilal Davis. And, you know, we were just chatting about the, in terms of giving a, a taste of who, who is Muhammad. And I want to get in very quickly. Um, why do you believe the Islam faith is one of the fastest growing religions uh, in the world? Um, I, can, I can definitely say, speaking from, from my own experience, that one of the things that most people who embrace Islam find attractive about Islam and recognize is, is from the true characteristics of any true religion is that Islam speaks to and addresses the fitrah of the innate nature of the human being. And the innate nature is we believe Allah has created mankind to incline towards worshipping one God and to incline towards every noble character. Um, and those characters that the previous prophets and message called, called messengers called to. From uh, nobility, with neighbours, with parents, with treatment, treated, treatment of people, who are other than ourselves and uh, worshipping one true God. So the message revolves around the worship of the one true God. Uh, and if you look at the life of Jesus, for example, which many of us who would have been familiar with, the person who's looking into Islam will see the manifestation of the character of someone like Prophet Jesus within Islam. He used to pray, he used to fast, you know, he used to, his mother used to adorn herself in a certain type of garment would practice chastity you know there were certain characters that the prophets and the messengers had and that continues to be manifest within the practice of the religion of islam and so it attracts anyone who's looking for true religion you know and i think that's what attracted myself and it attracts and continues to attract many of uh the young and old uh outside of whether you know you know here non practices of the religion here in Tobago, in Trinidad, in, in England, in America, uh, people are attracted by that purity of religion, the return back to worshipping one God alone, not deifying and raising the station of any of the prophets and the messengers above them being a prophet and messenger, not turning anyone into God, worshipping the one creator, practicing and carrying out acts of righteousness, actually doing those things though. And not just uh, lip service, but actually practicing. So praying five times a day, this is actual practice. We're fasting in Ramadan for a month, this is actual practice. And the practice of the religion purifies and brings about that purity and closeness to the Creator. And so um, it is that purity of religion really that attracts most people. Mm. All right, excellent. And again, just before we wrap this morning's interview, I want to remind our viewers about the details. The lecture series uh, continues into next week. That's right. Next uh, week, Wednesday. Next week Wednesday. Wednesday. Good. Yes, yeah. And it takes place, just remind them again, where in, it takes place and the in times. Masjid Ibn Abbas in Crown Point. And uh, we start 8 o'clock in the evening. And we'll go on to about 9.15 usually. All right. So, folks, you have the information there coming to you. A reminder again, sessions take place on the evenings, just about 8 o'clock, um, and goes on. Good opportunity for education and information and to gain some more insight. And we have heard it here this morning. It's not only limited to persons of the Muslim faith. There's an opportunity for you to come and learn, come to hear about the information, and get the information firsthand. Sometimes we only rely based on what we hear. Uh, of defeat and, and we only rely on oh we, we see the bad press that comes at times and there's a quick recognition when you're in the international space from the time you hold association to defeat mm -hmm. you, you you're quick to hear the association of uh, uh, you know a muslim That's in true. relation to so here is positive news positive information the education coming out there and this is your opportunity to benefit from that right here in the tobago space and therefore, we uh, look forward to um, this coming up, uh, this lecture series that will be taking place and encourage persons go and benefit from the information that is available. It's open to all. All right. Thank
thank you very much again for thank joining you. us thank on you, set here this morning. And I trust that you, Seth, and the team will ensure that you have some time to also enjoy to be here. Oh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Excellent. Viewers, we want to thank you so much for the continued love and support for the Tobago Updates Morning Show. Those of you joining us via Gael, those joining us via MNE TV, those listeners on Smash Radio and Street 91.9 FM. And to each and every one of you connecting with us via social media, thank you so much for the continued love and support, folks. Uh, this has been the Tobago Updates Morning Show, Tuesday, Monday, the 5th of September. Uh, we'll be back again on Tuesday morning, but don't run off just yet. The morning show is ending, but we're heading straight on over to GMT. Good morning, Tobago, with Candice.